Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing fine. I'm Shabana Desai, your friend and colleague. And uh, today I'll be discussing about a station of mastitis. And as it's going to be a simulated patient task, so you will be tested in information gathering, communication with patient, applied clinical knowledge and patient safety. And you will not be using any medical jargon when you are communicating with the patient and no technical terminology. So how are you going to explain mastitis to the patient? So you can tell her that Alice, um, coming to your concerns, you are having a condition which is known as mastitis. Have you ever heard about it? So actually it's inflammation of the breast and it occurs because of buildup of milk in the breast and it is more common in breastfeeding mothers and uh, because of the accumulation of milk there occurs milk stasis and it causes increased tension and this can result in pain and swelling sometimes it may get infected with bugs and this can cause more pain and fever am i clear so far and then you can discuss with her about the management. So here you will tell her about the specific management that is the painkillers and the antibiotics and the simple measures. So tell her that um, Alice, uh, this condition can be treated effectively and many women recover quickly. So we will be offering you painkillers like paracetamol or brufen. This will help to decrease the pain and inflammation. And also we would like to offer you some antibiotics and uh, one is flucloxacillin and you will have to take it at least for two weeks on empty stomach and uh, you need to carry on taking this medicine even if you feel better that is because if you stop your treatment early your symptoms could come back this uh, medicine can uh, cause some side effects like it can make you feel sick or it can cause loose stool. And these medications are safe for you and your baby. So any questions so far? And then we have some simple measures like uh, we would like to advise you to drink plenty of fluid, take plenty of rest, use warm compress uh, because this will help to make your breast soft. It will increase milk flow and avoid tight fitting undergarments and uh, you need to wear well fitting undergarments okay and also continue breast free feeding from both breasts see that baby is latched properly to the breasts and express out any remaining milk after breastfeeding and for this we will be also involving the breast uh, feeding specialist nurse who would help you regarding this and exclusively breastfeed your baby for six months okay so uh, she will ask you that can i go home so tell her that yes uh, you can go home and uh, we would be arranging a follow-up appointment after 24 to 48 hours to assess your condition in the meantime please continue taking your medications and upon discharge when you go home if you have any problem with breastfeeding or if you notice fever, foul smelling discharge, severe pain, please contact your GP or midwife because these could be signs of infection and pus formation. And uh, then offer her the patient information leaflets, support group numbers, contact number for clinical access and inform her GP as well. If she is allergic to penicillin, then of course we would be offering her erythromycin or clarithromycin. And so if she asks that uh, if I forget to take the antibiotic flucloxacillin, then what do I need to do? Tell her that uh, Alice, if you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember unless it's nearly time for your next dose. If this happens, just leave out the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Never take two doses at the same time. Never take an extra dose to make up for a forgotten one. If you forget doses often, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. Is that okay? 
and would you like me to repeat anything do you have any questions no thank you so i have tried again to keep it as simple as possible and again uh, you have to communicate and explain to the patient about mastitis and for the management follow up the red flag signs or the morning signs which uh, like can happen when she goes home like fever foul smelling discharge severe pain and in that case of course she need to contact us yeah so again in the end i will like to tell you that please keep practicing the stations with your steady partner that's very important and at least practice one to two stations daily and then increase it up to four and the more you will practice with your partner the like communication will become really very easy you know so that's all for now and um, i will try to post my next audio clip on an important exam station as early as possible until then take care and bye bye